All right, let's be real. How many of you have woken up only to see your LinkedIn exploding with the birthday wishes on your birthday? It's awesome, right? People care, but then you have to reply. You have to reply to them all. For example, thanks, I appreciate it. Thank you so much for the wishes. It's like a digital walk a mall but honestly, sometimes you don't have the time. Sometimes life gets busy or you forget, or sometimes you just want to forget. And what about those repetitive browser tasks? For example, checking how many github followers have you got that's just a totally random example right anyways these things take up time what if you could automate it like have your own little browser driving ai assistant well buckle up because today we are building exactly that we're diving into python langchain and a cool little library called browser use and we'll also use the magic of large language models you can choose between gemini chat gpt 4 or it's your choice we will create a simple browser browser agent that will browse on behalf of you and get things done. First, we'll have a quick GitHub check and then we'll tackle the LinkedIn birthday wishes beast. So first thing first, you need to install Python. Then you need to pip install Langchain OpenAI or Langchain Google Gen AI. And then of course, our star of the show, browser use. You'll also need API keys for your chosen LLM, for example, from OpenAI or Google AI Studio. And crucially for the LinkedIn part, of course, you need login credentials. Now security alert, never put your credentials or your API keys directly into the code and commit it. Always use environment variables. Seriously, don't be that person okay so the code structure is simple we import our tools we grab our secure credentials and we set up the llm and the browser now let's talk about the brain of the agent the task let's start easy the first mission is how many followers you see the prompt it's clear concise specific and it tells the llm what to do exactly for example open go find report simple verbs clear goal that's prompt engineering 101 right there always designed with simplicity City. When we create the agent, we give it the task, we give the LLM the brain, and then the browser the hands. Then we tell Python's async IO to run the show. And boom, easy peasy, right? The agent opens a browser and you might see it flash. It navigates, scrapes the information, and then responds with the result. Task one complete. But now LinkedIn, that's trickier. We need login, navigation, conditional actions. The prompt here needs to be smarter. Okay, let's break this down with some prompt engineering wisdom first be specific about the output and input we're not just saying reply to these messages we are saying login with these credentials go here examine each message if only it's a birthday wish reply with these variants if not do not reply just mark them as red this level of detail is crucial for complex tasks second use instructions over constraints mostly See how we focus on what to do. For example, respond with mark as red. We do have a constraint and that is do not respond for other messages, which is important for safety here. But the primary drive is positive instruction. Third, provide example implicitly giving response variants like thank you so much. Thank you. They act like many few short examples in the prompt guiding the LLM's response. Also, do you notice the step by step flow? Login, navigate, examine, decide side and then act. This mirrors how we do it, helping the LLM think sequentially, so to say. This is kind of like chain of thought, even if not explicitly requested. This detailed prompt gives our agent the best chance of success on a platform like LinkedIn, which can be more complex than, let's say, a simple GitHub page. All right, let's run it. The agent fires up, then logs in, and you may have to do the two-factor authentication and wait for it. And then it goes to the messages and it starts reading and then it responds to the simple happy birthday messages it skips the ones that's asking for a job nice try kevin not today and then marks those messages red look at it go how cool is that your digital secretary handling the birthday rush now caveats all of this is awesome but number one fragile well websites change linkedin updates its layout and this will break you may need to adjust the prompt or wait for browser use libraries updates number two credentials you have to save them 
them in the environment variables. That's a must. You need to keep them secure. Number three, LLM limits or costs. As you know, Gemini and ChatGPT, they are not really free. So you need to keep an eye on the usage of your large language models. In general, Gemini Flash is actually cheaper and faster to use. And number four, error. Things may go wrong. The agent might misinterpret a message. You need to review its work, especially at first. You can't just trust it blindly with your social life. But as a demonstration of what's possible with Langchain, browser use, and a really good LLM, I think it's pretty amazing. We automated checking GitHub and tackling the tsunami of birthday wishes on LinkedIn with just a few lines of Python and some careful prompt engineering. So what repetitive browser tasks would you automate? Let me know in the comments. By the way, if you found this video useful, smash that like button and subscribe for more automation and AI adventures. And check out the link in the description for the code repository for this particular project. And don't forget to subscribe to the newsletter that you can also find in the comments or in the description of this video. And as always, happy coding, go forth and automate.